Opalescence Boost is a powerful 40% hydrogen peroxide in-office whitening gel that can provide stunning results in as little as one hour. In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to get maximum whitening results with Opalescence Boost safely and effectively. Before beginning the procedure, bring Opalescence Boost to room temperature. Determine the baseline shade of the patient's teeth with an Opalescence Shade Guide card. Give the patient protective eyewear to wear during the procedure. For added security, tie a length of dental floss through one of the holes in the isoblock to prevent accidental swallowing. Place a self-supporting lip and cheek retractor followed by the Ultradent isoblock. Instruct the patient to hold the isoblock in place with gentle but firm biting pressure. Completely rinse and air dry the teeth. Now you're ready to place the resin barrier. Start by removing the lure lock cap from the Opal Dam green syringe and securely attach a micro 20 gauge tip. Verify flow prior to placing intraorally, then express a continuous bead of Opal Dam green along the gingival margin, overlapping approximately 0.5 millimeters onto the enamel. Extend the resin one tooth beyond the last tooth to be bleached and continue building the barrier apically until it is 4 to 6 millimeters high and 1.5 to 2 millimeters thick. Visually check that all gingival tissues at the resin margin are covered and that a good seal is established. Using the mouth mirror, look up the long axis of the teeth and reapply the resin to any minute openings. Light cure the resin for 20 seconds per arch using a scanning motion. Carefully check the resin cure with an instrument. With the resin barrier cured, you're ready to apply Opalescence Boost to the prepared teeth. Because Opalescence Boost is chemically activated, it needs to be mixed just prior to placement. Before mixing, check that the red plunger is securely attached to the clear plunger. Depress the red plunger, forcing the contents of the red syringe into the clear syringe. Quickly and forcefully depress the small clear plunger into the middle small clear syringe to rupture the internal membrane. Doing this combines the bleach and activator. Continue depressing the clear plunger so all the gel is in the red syringe. Reverse the action and mix a minimum of 25 times, 12 to 13 times on each side. Be sure to finish with all the mixed gel in the red syringe. Twist to separate the two syringes. Discard the clear, empty syringe and attach the micro 20 gauge FX tip onto the red syringe. If you feel any resistance, do not proceed. Attach a new tip and test the flow again before applying Opalescence Boost to the teeth. Apply a layer of Opalescence Boost approximately one millimeter thick over the labial surface of the teeth to the incisal and occlusal surfaces. Allow the gel to remain on the teeth for 20 minutes, periodically checking and reapplying the gel to areas that have thinned or need replenishing. Remove the gel using suction only. To prevent opalescence boost from splattering onto the soft tissues, do not use water to rinse during the initial suction. Suction the gel from the teeth using the lure vacuum and surgery tip or a surgical suction tip. Use caution not to dislodge the isolation barrier. Tip. Clear suction periodically with water. Evaluate the shade change after each application and monitor the patient for any sensitivity issues. Repeat application one more time or until the desired results are achieved. Do not exceed three applications per visit. Suction gel from teeth using the lure vac and surgery tip or a surgical suction tip, then thoroughly rinse teeth with an air water spray and the high volume suction. Once the desired shade of white is achieved, use a dental instrument to remove the cured Opal Dam resin barrier. It will easily come off in one or more large pieces. The total procedure, including setup and isolation, typically lasts 60 minutes. This includes two 20-minute applications of Opalescence Boost for a total of 40 minutes of whitening time. Be certain to read the product instructions, warnings, and information for the patient contained in the package and advise the patient accordingly. Many clinicians who provide in-office bleaching follow up with at-home tray bleaching. This assures further bleaching distally on the arch to achieve the ultimate level of whitening.
The patient should wait 24 to 48 hours before beginning an at-home whitening treatment. You can choose to make a custom tray for the patient to use as a follow-up, or you can use preloaded opalescence tray white supreme trays, as they require no additional impression, models, or lab time. For post-procedure sensitivity, use a potassium nitrate product such as UltraEase immediately after treatment and for 15 minutes to 1 hour per day until sensitivity subsides. In as little as one hour, Opalescence Boost can give your patients the bright, white smiles they've always wanted. Opalescence Boost is a professional tooth whitening product applied only in the dental office by a licensed dental professional. Call 800-552-5512 or visit Ultradent.com to learn more.